Hello, I'm John. And welcome to Modded Wheeze and You, your one-stop shop for all things homebrew on your newly acquired, completely legal, modded Nintendo Wii. Today, we'll go over how to install and set up USB Loader GX, a homebrew application designed to allow you to make backups and play games by using nothing more than a simple USB flash drive. So without any further introduction, let's move on to the installation. First, you'll need to download a copy of the USB Loader GX files from the link in the description. From there, unzip the downloaded archive and copy the extracted apps folder over to the root of your Wii's SD card. If you're prompted to overwrite any files, go ahead and do so. Once the copy is complete, go ahead and eject the SD card and reinsert it into your Wii. When on your Wii, open up the Homebrew channel and load the USB Loader GX app. Once in USB Loader, you should see a list of all channels currently on your Wii. If you navigate to the top bar, you can change the way that they're displayed by clicking on one of these four icons. From this bar, you can also load the game in the disk drive, lock the USB Loader settings, set categories, search, and show favorited titles. If you click on the Homebrew channel icon at the bottom, you'll be able to view and launch all Homebrew on your Wii's SD card. The settings icon will allow you to configure paths for the different USB Loader files, change settings for the titles loaded from a USB, customize the UI, and so much more. But that's enough in terms of UI navigation, so let's move on to how to back up your games to a flash drive. First, you want to format your flash drive to FAT32. If your flash drive is larger than 32GB, then you'll need to use a third-party application to format it. Link to one down below. With your flash drive formatted, you'll need to insert it into the left USB port on the back of your Wii, the one that's closest to the outside of the console. Then click on the plus button at the bottom to install a game, and at this point insert your disk if you have not done so already, at which point it's just a matter of time until your game finishes copying to your USB drive. It could take a while, depending on the game. Once the install finishes, and if you're connected to the internet, you can press 1 on the Wii Remote to download cover art for your currently installed games. Also make sure that the box for displaying Wii games in the main list is checked and you should be all good to play your backups. But before I go, here's a tip to make your Wii games look extra crisp. Head over to the loader settings and turn off the deflicker filter and change the video width to frame buffer. This will remove the blurring filter that's native on Wii games in addition to displaying the game in its native resolution. In turn, giving you the cleanest video output provided by your Wii. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and comment down below any homebrew applications you'd like to see covered. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any new videos from the network. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.